Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. I got one dose of Pink Floyd earlier, and I have a second dose right now, Nick Mason. You've known this guy, Roger Waters, for a long time. To see the wall and what you guys have been able to do, incredible stuff. Talk to me about this legacy that's been created. Well, I mean, I think this is really a continuation of something Roger's been doing for a long time now. I mean, whether the original wall recording was made over 30 years ago now, I think. Uh, and it's, it's sort of remarkable because it's the, the message is still fresh and the reinterpretation is still, I think, really strong. One of the things that blew me away with talking to Roger, he was talking about how the median age at a concert was 25 years old. How does a band with Pink Floyd's legacy that's been around this long have a young fan base still? Well, hopefully we did something or do something that um, still connects. I, I mean... You know, we now have a world where sometimes parents do tell their kids about rock and roll bands and the kids pick up on it. That was unthinkable in my day. My parents would never have, rec well, there wasn't any rec rock and roll to recommend, but it's, uh, the, music, the music has changed. It has become more permanent. When you look at the legacy, what you guys were able to do with visual arts and music, does it blow you away to see the influence that it's had on today's artists? I mean, yes, but I don't think that's specifically us. I mean, I think the whole industry has moved in a way so that now virtually any band, if they're playing a large enough stadium, will have a show that is mind-blowingly good and uh, has moved on so much from the day when, well, there weren't any screens, there were just some spotlights and that was it.